see the following pairs of straight line are perpendicular to each other. So when they say perpendicular, we know that m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. Okay, so we need to know the gradient. Find the other value of constant k. Right? So here, so we know that it's right here m1 and 2 is equal to negative 1. So this one, if you know the gradient, then you can compare. So, to find this one, the easiest way is y is equal to mx plus c. You arrange it in this way and then you can see your m. Okay. So, here, firstly, you have 3x plus 5y is equal to 15, right? So, this one is the first one because this one is complete without the variable because this one you get k, right? So, this one, 5y is equal to, you bring to the other side, 3x become negative 3x, so I put it in front because I want to arrange it in y is equal to mx plus c okay what else so plus 15 so this one I only want y so I divide everything with 5 negative 3 over 5x plus 15 over 5 so I get negative 3 over 5x plus 3 so we know that this one is m1 so we know that m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1 Right, when your m1 is negative 3 over 5, negative 3 over 5 is equal to m2, negative 1, m2 is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 3 over 5. So, here you get 5 over 3. So, basically, you can see that it is interchanged. If negative, this one becomes positive. If this one 3 over 5, you will end up with 5 over 3. So, you know that the other equation, this one is your m2. So, here you have. 5x minus ky is equal to 2, right? The second equation here. So, we know that ky is equal to, so I want my y and I bring this one. 5x, 2 become negative 2 because I want my y only. So, divide everything with k. 5 over kx minus 2 over k. So, this is the equation. But now, we wanted the value of k, right? And we know that this one is our m2. So, we can compare. We know that 5 over k is equal to, this one is 5 over 3. So, this one is equal to this one. This one is equal to this one. k is equal to 3. So, b, x over 3 plus y over 9 is equal to 1. So, I take this one without the variable because this one will have k. Okay, just take the, uh, so that we can find what is our M1. So we know this one is 9. So to make it this way, we have to remove the denominator, right? So we multiply everything with 9. Take the largest fraction below or uh, any fraction that can remove the, uh, this one, the denominator. Okay, for example, if you have X plus 3 and Y over 4, you cannot simply multiply by just 4. So 3 and 4, you can find the common factor which you get 12. So when you multiply with 12, then you can cancel out the denominator. Okay. Right. So this one. So multiply with 9. So this one is 3. Now you have 3x. So this one is cancelled out. Plus 9 is equal to 1. So y is equal to, you bring to the other side, you get negative 3x plus 1. Okay, so this one is your m1. So here we know that m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So m2 is equal to negative 1 divided by m1, which is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 3. So here we get 1 over 3. So here we have ky is equal to 2x minus 7. So we wanted to have y, right? y is equal to 2 over k x minus 7 over k. So we divide everything at the back with k. So this one is actually mm, divided by k. So I just separate it like this. So here we know that this one is our m2. And we know that m2 is supposed to be 1 over 3. So here 2k is equal to 1 over 3. So you see here what happened here. 1 to get 2, we multiply with 2. So this is the same thing. So times 2. 3 times 2 is equal to k. Or k is equal to 3 times 2. k is equal to 6.
for the vertices of triangle ABC. So we have point. Find the value of constant A if AB is perpendicular to BC. So we know that when the line is perpendicular, M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. So you need to know the gradient. Now you have point. So from point to get the gradient, Y M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So this is the formula to get the gradient. So first we see here AB is perpendicular to BC. So AB, the gradient of AB is equal to so here we have A is 1, 1 and B is negative 1, 4. So we know that this one is x1, y1, this one is x2, y2. So here, so y2 minus y1 is 4 minus 1 divided by x2 is negative 1 minus x1 is 1. So here we get 3 over negative 2. So here we get negative 3 over 2. So this one is for AB. And then for BC is equal to, so here our B is negative 1, 4, C is 5A. So we know that this one is x1, y1, this one is x2, y2 because b to c, right? So this one is negative 1. So this one, 4. Or you can see that this one is negative 1 and this one is 5. Okay. So we can know that this one is from b to c. Doesn't matter if this one or this way. So this way, b, c. So y2 minus y1, a minus 4, divide x2 minus x1, 5 minus negative 1. So here you get a minus 4 divided by 6. So we get our we got our m1 already. This one is m1. So we know that it is perpendicular, which means m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So M2 is equal to negative 1 divided by M1 which is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 3 over 2 which is equal to 1. So you see here when you divide the fraction is equal when you multiply opposite. So 3 over 2 become 2 over 3 so you get 2 over 3. So this one is your M2 and we know that this one is our M2. So A minus 4 over 6 is equal to 2 over 3. So you can cross multiply. Or you can see here this one is 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So that means 2 times 2 is equal to A minus 4. So we know that A minus 4 is equal to 4. A is equal to 4. Negative 4 we bring to the other side become 4. And here we get 8. 